Welcome back to another internet adventure. I have always been really fascinated by those really weird fad diets. From the cookie diet to the cabbage soup diet, there's been a plethora of ways people have tried to lose weight and get healthy. And today we're going to be discussing one of the more popular fad diets, the carnival diet. The carnival diet is where you only eat animal products, whether that be beef, chicken, eggs, pork or milk, anything in that same food group. And some of the supposed benefits are weight loss, lower blood sugar levels, and even putting different autoimmune conditions into remission. But like with any weird fad diet, there's always some of those really extreme people. And today we are going to be looking at the wacky world of carnivore influences. I eat this $5 carnivore ingredient every single day. Did you just say that roll? Here's what I eat as a high fat carnivore. Lots of raw steak. Just kidding. Hey man, great to see you. Amazing barbecue you've got going on here. Hey man, thanks so much. There's a couple of steaks ready to go if you'd like one. Oh, thanks man. Don't mind if I do. So this is a steak and butter gal. She is probably best known for starting off most of her videos with eating a stick of butter. Her supposed reasons for it is that she likes a high fat carnivore diet and butter is the easiest way to get it. Honestly, I could never. I even just thinking about eating a stick of butter makes me feel sick. But apparently she's been doing it for five years. So go her, I suppose. Here's what I eat as a high fat carnivore. Lots of raw steak. Just kidding. I actually like to sear my steak. Flash sear is best with a blue rare juicy inside. For my side, I had some soft boiled eggs and of course my usual cold butter. So this is one of the Tamer influences and she has apparently lost 30 pounds and her acne has completely cleared up. Honestly, I am a little bit jealous. I hate my acne. It's the bane of my existence and yet it still is here. I don't know, maybe I should try carnival. Ugh. Oh gosh. Oh boy, I got a lot worse. Did you see how he put his <sighs> So this dude is an animal but he's known for eating something in particular. Can you guess what Liver King is having for dinner today? I got liver with breakfast, lunch, and dinner because liver is king. Look at the pile of ribeyes that I got. I got some fish, I got some fish, I got some testicle sashimi. So this, if you haven't guessed already, is the Liver King. And he is best known for eating the liver and pretty much any other body part that most of us plebs would like to avoid. And the thing that I've noticed with a lot of these TikTok carnivores is they obviously use a lot of shock value by eating a bull's testicle or a cow's liver as a way of showing what a human diet should be. And to be the devil's advocate here, our diets have changed extensively, especially over just the last 100 years. We are having more and more processed foods and we do not know where those foods have come from. So it really isn't a surprise to me that we have this drastic movement to completely uno reverse out of that and go, nope, I want to be a caveman. I want to get back to my roots and have such a drastic change. And King, what you got there? how I do it. I start with liver for strength. Throw in some kidney for courage. I got the testicle. That's right. That's for honor. We got some bone marrow right here. That right there is for mastery. And we got the heart for loyalty. Put in some farm fresh cream. Look at that. And let's be honest, <laughs> this isn't going to taste good. So we just put in a dash of maple syrup. And then it's as simple as if you survived watching that and didn't almost bath, congratulations. You're one of the few. For future reference, Liver King, that's not how you get people into the car. I really feel like this guy reminds me of the Vikings. I'm not too sure as to why, but he's so performative with the way he eats his meat. It's kind of like I just can't look away. 
And it kind of reminds me of like when you're sitting at like a dinner table and you've got a bunch of kids around you and they are just really into their food and they're really enjoying it and it's all over their face and they don't care that it's literally running down their arms and destroying their nice clothes. And it really makes you wonder, where did my childlike love for food go? Oh, look, they're doing it together. That's so sweet. Now, I was going to show you more carnivores eating testicles and other crazy things, but I'm sure by now we are all questioning, where in the world did the carnivore diet come from? What is its history? And do these carnivores even have a point? Now, it's kind of hard to understand exactly where the carnivore diet began, but Sean Baker was the first to kind of popularize the diet in 2019 with his book. But others say that Jordan Peterson's daughter, Michaela, was the one to popularize it at her TED Talk. And I cut everything out except for beef. And two weeks after doing that, thinking I'm nuts, hopefully I don't get vitamin deficiencies, the itch went away and my joints started to feel better. Four weeks after that, I stopped crying in the morning. And five months after that, the anxiety lifted and I was back in what I felt was heaven compared to how I'd been living. All beef, all lamb, salt, and water. My mom went on the diet and her osteoarthritis went away. My dad went on the diet and he lost 70 pounds, kid psoriasis, that went away. I've talked to thousands of people with autoimmune disorders who've done similar things and seen similar results. I've been talking about this diet to spread awareness in hopes that the medical community can take something like this seriously. A major claim of the carnivore dieters is that a meat-based diet is our primal, natural, and ancestral way of eating. And Experts do agree that we did eat a lot of meat, but to what degree is where a lot of speculation happens. The Inuit tribe ate almost solely meat, but then there are other examples throughout history that are obviously not the case, which kind of suggests that there must be a plethora of different ways to have a healthy diet. Personally, I believe that there should be a balance of all whole foods. And I think that, you know, maybe a carnivore diet is a really good way to have as an elimination diet because then you can actually see if you may potentially be sensitive to things that you might have been eating your entire life but just haven't noticed. When more than a billion people in the world are living with obesity and one in three adults globally have multiple chronic health conditions, there gets a point where you've just had enough. And for the first time ever, I am going to be that person. I am going to say I've had enough and I want to try something new. And so you need to hit that like and subscribe button because for the next 30 days, I am going to be doing carnival to tell you whether or not it's worth the hype or not. And of course, to inaugurate myself, I'm gonna eat this stick of butter. <sighs> uh, oh, this is gonna be hard. Uh.